Hello again. Jared Case here, curator of film exhibitions at the Dryden Theater and the George Eastman Museum with another streaming recommendation. And as we have been doing on most of these Sundays, we are giving you a recommendation based on a recent George Eastman Award recipient. And in the year 2015, that award was given to Michael Douglas. Now, he is, of course, an award-winning uh, actor uh, for films such as Wall Street, which he won the Oscar for. But he also won the Oscar as a producer for One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, and he's been a producer uh, for over 40 years of uh, as well. So between his work in front of and behind the camera, uh, not to mention his family's legacy, it made him the perfect recipient for this award back then. So looking at what's available uh, to stream for Michael Douglas, uh, it's a little bit of a struggle. There are several... Um, films that he's featured in as a supporting player, but not really his performance. I was tempted to give you Haywire, uh, the Steven Soderbergh film, which I happen to uh, enjoy a lot. I was also tempted to give you Romancing the Stone, which is a lead performance uh, from 1983, but doesn't quite live up to the 12-year-old memories that I have. Um, so what we're going to do, actually, is give you a recommendation of a film that's actually not theatrical, but made for cable. And that is the HBO film Behind the Candelabra, also directed by Steven Soderbergh. Uh, this was at the time when Soderbergh was claiming that he was going to retire. So this was the last large-scale production that he put on before that retirement was supposed to go into effect. Of course, he's done many things uh, in moving images or motion pictures since then. So retirement hasn't quite stuck. But this was the last one. This is what he was going out on. And it's the story of Liberace as played by Michael Douglas. And there's often a question when someone is playing a real person uh, whether that imitation is actually acting or is it more acting or better acting. In this case, I think Michael Douglas treads the line really well. He definitely evokes the character of Liberace, who I do remember from my childhood, um, both in terms of his voice and his movement, his affectation. But there is genuine emotion that's coming through this performance. So it's not just uh, someone doing impression and saying lines. There is acting going on. And he's acting across from Matt Damon, who's also playing a real person, Scott Thorson, who was Liberace's companion for six years in the late 70s and early 80s. And this is actually based on his book. And it's another one of these Hollywood cautionary tales where there's uh, someone coming up and someone who's at the top and uh, the power dynamics that have to do with a romantic relationship and uh, fame and money and how it comes into it and, of course, how it ends poorly uh, when all is said and done. But uh, a really interesting performance. Uh, Steven Soderbergh uh, produces this lavishly and truly in the spirit of what uh, Liberace was, or at least what he liked us to perceive that he was, and that he liked to believe that he was. Uh, it's a, a really great film uh, made by HBO, so uh, Amazon Prime did uh, market a package of these films and TV shows from HBO, so you can stream it now. Go to Amazon Prime and come on back together uh, to tomorrow for another recommendation.